Alright ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of ASA. There is five questions answered today, so let's get started straight off the bat with YND Bricks, and he says, ASA, what do you think of LegoCon? Well, for starters, it's in the name LegoCon, right? Boo! Ugh, it was just such a disaster. I feel so sorry for them, honestly, because I wanted LegoCon to be this amazing, like, thing where you watch it every year now, and it's like, oh my gosh, what are they gonna do next? Are they gonna reveal some awesome new new lego star wars sets and minecraft sets and i guess harry potter if you're into that and ninjago stuff like that so i thought it's going to be this really cool thing kind of like minecon because i know a lot of people say minecon is cringy but i absolutely love minecon or i guess now it's called minecraft live and that's where you get to see like the new stuff for the updates like teasers what the name of the update's going to be stuff like that and so i was really hoping that lego could do something like that but sadly they just dropped the ball so hard that it was just so cringy and bad and just <laughs> My goodness! It was annoying how they revealed a Lego Star Wars set that we already knew about after making me wait like two hours after I got up at like 8 a.m. I know boohoo, but it's like who wants to get at 8 on a Saturday? Also, the Q&A with Lydia Winter like for the Minecraft stuff was like they answered like two questions and it's just so bad. I just, I don't know. I hated it. I, I would give it another shot if they do another one next year, but after that it's done if it's terrible, you know, but like if they can fix all their mistakes mistakes from this first one the second one might be good uh but to really answer your question i just felt sorry for them more than anything i was like this had such great potential and you flopped so hard so it was just terrible you know our next question comes from ek and he says who is your favorite live action joker from dc mine is heath heath ledger yeah i actually i'm i'm not even gonna argue with that heath ledger is amazing i think that he did a fantastic job playing the joker he did a fantastic job I think he was my favorite Joker, so definitely better than the current one that we have now. I don't like that one from, like, the Suicide Squad. I can't speak today. Movies. So, yeah, Heath Ledger, definitely a legend. And our next question is from CF Productions, and he says, ASA, do you think LEGO will make sets for the new Marvel TV shows? Well, I thought they already were because there's a leaked image of, uh, like, Scarlet Witch going around, like Wanda, so I thought, like, a minifigure, so I'm pretty sure they're going to. I'm not really a fan of Lego Marvel, so I don't really honestly care, but they seem to be a little bit more smart, I guess, when it comes to making money and making what the fans want, I guess. I'm not actually sure on that, so don't quote me, but from what I've seen, it seems like they care more, so. Next question is from Pixelite, and he says, ASA, how do you feel about Disney changing the Slave One's name? I don't care. I think it's a waste of time to freak out about. I think that it just makes the Lego community, especially the Lego Star Wars part of the community, just look like a bunch of babies that just can't ever be happy and just cry and whine about everything. It's like, I get complaining about some things, but this is just so foolish to complain about. It's just not worth the effort, you know? I don't really care either way. You know what it's called deep down. I don't get the big deal. I feel like the Lego Star Wars community just complains about every little detail now because we can, and it's like, why? It's like, there's more to life than a Lego Star Wars set. So, personally... I don't care. I think that it's fine to be called the Slave One, Boba Fett's ship, Boba Fett's Starfighter, Boba Fett's Transport, Boba Fett's Slave One. It doesn't matter to me because I'm gonna get it anyways and I know what it's called deep down and I think it looks cool and I'm excited to get the new Boba Fett minifigure. So I just think it's a waste of time to complain about. I really do. And our last question comes from Dark Cybrix and he says, what do you expect slash want to see in tomorrow's episode of The Bad Batch and do you have any set ideas from the show? So it's actually Sunday. The the 11th now when I'm making this video so I don't actually <laughs> or so I already saw episode 11 of the Bad Batch so that question of tomorrow's episode is now out of the picture I mean you could always say episode 12 now I just honestly throughout the whole show not just this next episode throughout the whole show I just want to see more longer episodes I'm kind of disappointed I know that the Clone Wars was only like 20 minutes long but I'm kind of disappointed that there's only like five episodes left or whatever and they've all been like 20 
20 minutes. It's like, can we start getting longer episodes? I also really would like to see a few more familiar faces like we've we've been seeing, but I really think it would be so cool to see Cody in the show, and I want to see what happens with Crosshair. I truly believe that he is going to get his chip removed and then still want to fight for the Empire, and that's just going to be kind of like heartbreaking because it's like, oh, so you actually choose to fight for them. You're not just being brainwashed into doing it, you know? Good soldiers follow orders. And so I think that will be fun though to see. And then the second part of your question is, or was like, do I have any set ideas from the show? Honestly, not really other than I think it would be cool to see a Cad Bane and his ship. That is like a remodeled version of Cad Bane. He looks super cool and his ship looked really cool. So imagine if we got like a $130 Lego set of like Cad Bane's ship with a Cad Bane minifigure, his servant joy that I can't remember his name. I am Toto 360, techno service droid. That would just be super duper cool, right? An updated Cad Bane minifigure with his ship. If I had to pick anything from the show, at least as of right now, I would pick that. So yeah, but that's going to do it for today's episode of ASA. So thank you all very much for your questions. Of course, thank you for watching. Hopefully you liked the video. If you did, leave a like. And of course, make sure you ask a question or two for the next episode of ASA. So that way I can answer more questions than five, you know? Uh, <laughs> so thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day. Oh, and I'll pin my favorite comment to the top.